I'm making an oldie but goodie with a totally new twist. It's my BK currywurst pull apart pigs in a blanket. Pull Stop apart. It. Pull apart, Stop baby. It. Uh -oh. It's for a cocktail party, so let's you know display it a different way. That's the update Is there a and tube a little in... flavor profile I'm gonna play with. I have with. a feeling okay. there's a tube. Yeah. And there's BK a tube. stands for Bad Kreuznach, not Brooklyn. Bad Kreuznach is a city that I lived in in Germany. We used to always go get currywurst, which is uh, a sausage like it's a knockwurst or a white sausage. They slice it up, they put curry ketchup all over it, you saute it, you put it on some brochin or bread. It's just so delicious and it's easy to do. Even if you don't like German food, you're gonna love this because it's pigs on a blanket. Yeah, man. So we've got the puff pastry out. Um, it's kind of like room temp so we can ply it and get that seam nice and soft. Uh, we've rolled it out just a little bit flat and then we've got these cocktail uh, weenies here. Yeah. The pig in a blanket, you know. Ground. So we're gonna look here and say, okay, we want a little bit of the end to stick out. So I'm just going to mark about how much I want to use of the dough. And I'm just gonna go and make strips the same size. That might be a little bit smaller. So I'm just gonna go through and run my knife down to the end. And the goal here is not to just really go like a super crazy overlap. So then I'm gonna know it's about right there. So that's for the sizing. But before we go to cut all of these up, my flavor profile is curry worse. Very simple. Just get some yellow curry powder out of oh, your I pantry, a light dusting, and that's gonna be our flavor profile on the inside of the pigs in the blanket. So Katie. I can smell that curry, it's yes. So, fragrant. so yeah. fragrant. And then once you get into the oven and it toasts up and gets warm, it disintensifies. Mm -hmm. So this is a real good way to bring that flavor through on the outside. Start with the inside. So just go ahead and roll it. And then I've got a spring form pan here with a single serve ramkin in the very center. That's gonna be the receptacle for the dip. And all I'm gonna do is just get this in. You can do a little bit of cooking spray around the end. You're gonna pinch. You see I'm noticing I'm pinching the end there. Not too hard because this is puff pastry. We want it to puff up. And then I'm gonna use that seam to be the actual place that I put up against something so it'll kind of hold itself. You just go all the way around your spring form here Brilliant. with all of your little weenies. I'm gonna hook you up right here, Katie. Yeah, let me help strip. you out right here. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm at a cocktail party and the pig in the blankets come out, I'm there. I'm parking Watch myself it. next to it, dipping it in the mustard. We keep them in our freezer. There but you if go. I oh, have that. like oh, a hot dog left over, you know, like before, I used to get that, you know, the eight pack of hot dogs, and there'd be only six hot dog buns. Yep. You got a hot dog or two left over. Pigs in a blanket, baby. They've been around since 1957. Yeah, oh, first man. mention. I wonder who invented it. It was in a kid's cookbook. Joey Someone's Pick it a blanket. smart. Yeah. Now, also, because this is puff pastry, we all know, it puffs up way better when it goes into the oven cold, all right? Yeah. So I'm going to get this into uh, the fridge after we fill it all up, and I'll show you what it looks like. I'm very excited to see this. Yeah. All right? Just like this. Ah, OK. okay. So I'm going to put this into the oven. Oh, yeah, you can applause. Yeah, I'm going to put this into the oven see at 425 degrees. Yeah, see this. Uncovered, OK? It's going to get nice and golden brown. Then you're going to bring it out, cover it up, and then cook it for about 25 more minutes. Oh. Okay, but this is for a party, so it's worth it, you know? <laughs> well, the You're first cook uncovered through. is all about the color. The second cook covered is all about making sure it's not gummy and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. I mean, you could wrap those uh, little wieners in like So many other dos. There we go. Sean A did oh. it. Get with that down. Me. Oh, wait, there's, there's more. more. A really quick curry ketchup that you could make. Um, I have a couple of curry ketchup recipes online, but this is the fastest. You just take your store-bought ketchup, get it into a pot. And, you know, we talk about toasting up all of those spices, so you're gonna get your curry powder in, a little bit of honey to smooth it out. And then what I like to say is way more pepper than you expect. So just grind until you can't anymore. Stir that up, let it all work together. Good room temp is good. And then there you go. Pour it right in. Wow. So now you've got your curry ketchup to go with your curry pigs in a blanket. Let me get in here. Uh, there's the pull apart part. That's mm -hmm. more fun than a normal. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's all, you know, when you're thinking about retro and updating, it doesn't always have to be a full on mm -hmm. recipe, it could just be the presentation. Mm -hmm. eh?
I love the buttery the pastry. To so me, good. that's the best on a pig. Butter, I like it. pastry, butter. But pastry. then the sweetness of the ketchup.